this video is going to change the way that you view marketing in your business because even as i was putting it together it blew my mind there are so many different reasons why people buy from you it could be they looked at your reviews they saw that you had better pricing than your competitors they knew somebody who used your services before in the past and they trusted you off of that the list goes on and on and all this comes down to understanding buyer personas now buyer personas are kind of similar to knowing your client avatar if you're familiar with that concept your buyer persona is different reasons and triggers to why people will buy from you. This helps you understand your customer even more and you can create more laser focused marketing campaigns as a result of understanding your buyer's persona. So in this video right now, we're gonna go through six different buyer personas and I'm gonna give you a tactical solution to be able to market for each of them. The first is going to be Bargain Brenda. Brenda is always on the lookout for special deals and discounts. She's likely to respond to limited time offers or promotions, such as a free consultation for your service. Ideally, we wouldn't spend too much time or money on Brenda because we truly want clients who are going to value our services at full price and not a discount. However, a great way to get in front of Bargain Brenda in your marketing is to send out direct mail pieces with a special limited time offer, such as that free consultation that I mentioned earlier. Next, we have Value Valerie. Valerie wants to make sure that she's getting the best value for her money. She's a comparison shopper who will check pricing before committing to a contracting company. So knowing that Value Valerie is a comparison shopper, we're going to use this to our advantage in a few different ways. First, we're going to put pricing on our website. This is going to make Valerie's life easier by being able to see our prices up front instead of having to jump through hoops in order to find it, which you'll likely appreciate. The next thing that we'll do is actually create social media content around what goes in to different projects. This will give her a clear way to understand all of the great things that we do in comparison to other companies. Our third buyer persona is Busy Brad. Brad has a busy daily schedule, so he values time over money. He prefers companies that get the job done right with minimal interruptions. With that said, we can market to Brad by telling him how fast we are able to complete projects. Additionally, we can let Brad know that we can still work on the project even when he's not home and we have a system in place such as sending him daily progress updates so he's always in the loop about where his project is currently at. Our fourth buyer persona is Premium Paul. Paul wants the very best contracting services that money can buy. He's motivated by luxury and doesn't mind spending top dollar for high-end features. Paul is one of the easiest people to market towards because it's who you're naturally thinking of when I say, tell me about your ideal client. This is the person that, you, that loves the project updates, the project walkthroughs, and maybe even the client testimonials as well. We're going to overwhelm him on social media with professionally shot photos, and we're also going to highlight all the bells and whistles that we can provide to clients, such as a hot tub for their outdoor living space, a movie theater in the basement, or golden fixtures in the kitchen. Our fifth buyer persona is Loyal Lisa. Lisa sticks with the company that she likes the best, even if she can find better deals elsewhere. Loyal Lisa really just wants to feel a connection with our company. And the best way to do this is to highlight our team online through Meet the Team videos. We can also highlight the backstory of our company online or even share customer reviews or testimonials that show how we solve somebody else's problem. And lastly, our final buyer persona is Innovative Ian. Ian wants the latest and greatest products on the market. He's among the first to try new things and doesn't mind the higher costs. Since Innovative Ian wants to have the latest and greatest in his neighborhood, what we're going to do is every time we get a product in stock or we offer something new, we're going to shout about it from the rooftops online. We can push it through social media or even through direct mail pieces. The reality is that everybody has different factors or checkboxes when it comes to making a purchase, any purchase. And it's our jobs as marketers to be able to spin our product or service to fit as many of those different narratives as possible. If you wanna read more about how we do this, read the blog post down below.